this is Ted with Schrader Tree Farm. I had some interest in a little tutorial about how I paint my Christmas ornaments. So stay tuned and follow along and hopefully you'll get some tips and pointers from this video. I only had a couple last year. We did the snowmen and then we did these trees and our inventory of snowmen is completely wiped out. So I know that snowmen is a pretty good seller. Um, but these three down here are new ones I'm going to try for 2021. Um, the Grinch, the String of Lights, which this is probably the easiest one I think. And then um, the Yeti, I like this guy. Um, he's probably the most complex. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is start with the String of Lights today. And uh, if people want to see the other ones, I'll do them. The snowmen are pretty easy. You just, you know, paint a little snow on the bottom, paint a couple little circles, then put on the uh, hat and the eyes and the scarves. But uh, these these pens right here are the best ones that i found to use. They're uh, like a paint marker. Um, they got like a ball in them. Um, but they paint real nice. So you can touch up whatever you want like I did. I always do his tongue last and use all these different colors with these. I guess they're Poscas. Um, but we have a whole set of those. I don't know. There's like maybe like 20 over here. Um, then I use some Walmart paint, acrylic paint. Just the Apple Barrel or this Folk Art kind of paint. These little two ounces. I mean, it was like less than a buck for this whole thing. And it's... Still almost full. Some of these are like 50 cents. But I don't know how old they are. Um, we have kind of a whole little set of paints. Um, so these rounds are from sassafras. We have sassafras growing everywhere on our property. So I took a um, log that was down. This one's probably eh, two, two and a half inch round. And just cut them into these slivers. They're probably like... A little bit bigger than a quarter so that's all I did I set them on a table um, last winter and let them dry for a couple months and then um, I take a 3 16 drill bit and then just drill a hole right through the top wherever you think the top is normally I try to make like if it's an oblong one I kind of this will probably be the top on this one this will probably be the top on this one. I don't know. That's just how I do it. I'll probably do the top. Or, and one of these will be the top. Um, I mean, so far, I have very, very minimal amount of money in these ornaments. And I think we sold them for only a few dollars. But, hey, it's uh, some something to do in the evenings during the winter. Or, you know, we did, I was doing it over the holiday, so... I had plenty of time. Everybody's been kind of stuck at home and the weather was really bad last weekend here in Southwest Michigan. So I made, I think about 30 of these ornaments. So we'll start with this one. I'll show you how I do this one. It doesn't take probably maybe five minutes or so. Longest thing will be is once you paint this ring, it's got to dry. So I'll show you how we paint the Christmas lights first. So to paint the string of Christmas lights, I use um, soft apple greeny mint. So we'll do this one right here. Um, this is really, this one is probably the easiest. Like I said, the longest thing is um, you have to let this base dry. So all I'm going to do is I kind of follow this outside ring here and then just fill this whole thing in so i will cut and then i'll show you what it looks like when i'm done okay this is almost dry Try to speed it up, but normally what I do is I'll 
paint all of my rounds and by the time I get them all all like about five of them done the first one will be dried I don't know it's still a little wet on the edges but we'll see if we can do it so basically I just take a pencil and just come up with some kind of crazy design I don't know what we're gonna do do something like this um then I use this one. This is a, like an ultra fine, like a fine tip compared to this black. Um, use the ultra fine, and then you're just, I'm just going to trace my line here. Probably could do it with the other one, but I like my line a little bit thinner. And the paint is still a little wet. Then what I do is go through and kind of make the bottom of the bulb. I try to alternate sides. This one's going to be in here. And maybe we'll make one. This one's going to be kind of goofy. Put one in here. Doesn't really matter where you put it. That part is still wet from the green. Okay. Okay, so you let that dry for a minute or two. And I'm gonna take, these are all the colors I use. I probably should have told you that. Um, blue, white, um, white and black I use are just for details. Blue, green, red, and yellow or orange. I think I'm gonna do orange today. But if you get yourself a kit, then you've got all these colors. So basically all you're gonna do is just kind of make a, I don't know what you would say, like kind of a rocket shape thing. This blue one's going to be hiding behind it. I try to kind of make them all the same size, but it doesn't always work. Red. Let's do the blue. If you kind of overrun, you can come back with your black later. I think I'm going to actually add yellow in too. The yellow you sometimes have to go over a couple times. And green. And see where these have run 
We've had runs right here, so we're just gonna kind of straighten it out. The line got small. This one's not going to be perfect because I kind of rushed the paint. So we're about done. And um, you can either use white or gray. Uh, I kind of like white better. Everything's kind of wet still though. You can kind of see it on there. We still have some wet spots. Uh, right here, isn't it? Let's just make a little streak there. And then, we kind of a little half. I've got some black on my tip, so I'm going to try to wipe it off. You can always go over stuff if it, you can always go over it again if it bleeds or something or you don't like the way it is. I'm trying to get this off. Okay. That's kind of what it looks like when it's done. I'm gonna to touch up all that white one more time once I clean the tip off of my paint marker here. white seems to pick up a lot of garbage mm, that's not bad normally what I'll do like I said is I'll paint the green then I'll paint the black and then I'll you know kind of stage them so that I know when I come back to these they will be dry there's one little spot right here That's kind of the goofy little thing there. I'll let it dry and I'll touch up all that white again. But this one turned out really goofy compared to this one, so it just depends on how you draw your line. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or send me a message. Thanks again, and thanks for watching.